Hey guys, what's up? It's Power here. We're back today for some more Pokemon Platinum on the Nintendo DS. And we left off, I believe, on Route 303, right? Let me just get this right. Let me just get this right. 303. I have no idea where that number came from. 215. <laughs> so I forgot to put uh, the Soothe Bell on Ears, who needs friendship to level up. Let's do that now, and... There we go, not too bad at all. And then we also have Blossom here, who I want to give the XP share from Vols because I want to get those two partnered up and leveled up around the same rate. So we're going to keep Chops and Dip at the front, but Blossom will be getting some experience from the other Pokemon. So let's battle all of these guys. We've leveled up Chops to a reasonable level. I think we're on level 30, so we should be able to enjoy beating up the Pokemon on this right with relative ease. And it's raining, so we can send a dip and we will get a slight attack boost. Seismic Toss is always a good choice. BS 30 damage. And it is to a KO. go. Not bad. Still a bit salty. We're not capturing the Gengar. Or not Gengar. Ghastly last episode. Would have been a great addition to the team. But we are limited to one encounter per area. And if we fail to capture that Pokemon then we lose it. So gotta obey the rules guys. One a KO. Wow. Too strong. I'm way too strong. Why did I hop over this? <laughs> Wrong way. Let me check up there. And then there is a, an item over here. Max Ether. Max Ether. Reminds me of Ike from Fire Emblem. TM66 Payback. Not too bad. Not my type of move, but I guess it's there for a reason. Still have cut on Baneri, need to eventually take that off. Run right into a trap with a black belt. I wonder what Pokemon this guy has up his sleeve. So I was looking online at that new fighting game coming up. Pokken Fighter, it's the Pokemon fighting game and looks kind of cool. Uh, I think it's a Japan only release right now sadly, but I do want to check it out if it ever comes here. I think it would be pretty cool. And this matchup just goes right ahead and craps out a crit. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that at all? Need to watch out for those crits probably will end a lot of my Pokemon's lives if I don't go in with caution. Always find moves like this useless, you know, like what, what is the point in the AI even using non-offensive moves? I do think Pokemon uh, games should automatically come with different difficulty modes. I know this uh, happens in some of the newer games, but the base game was always too easy. I do feel like the difficulty in the series has actually gone down in the recent games. You know, Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was some of the easiest games of all time, thanks to the new XP share. X and Y the same. No, I think this generation was definitely one of the tougher ones. Generation 4. Alright. What item was so good that you were hiding it from us? A fist plate. Well, I believe this powers up fighting type moves, and when you give it to Arceus, it changes into fighting form. I think that should work, right? At least I'm hoping so. 
Check the sharpness of my fighting Pokemon's moves. Sure, Der Derek. Almost read that wrong. Halfway there. Swagger. I hear this move so much. I honestly hit it so much that I'm tempted to switch to dip. Just to finish this guy off. Look at that pursuit. Didn't do that much damage, but if I hit myself with a swagger, I probably would have put myself down to red. And again, the swagger comes out. Unfortunate. Thankfully, I'm a special attacker. There we go. And the range should help us a little bit there as well. Hmm. Fifty-five percent accuracy, though. I can't. I can't accept that. Way too low. We have a lot of Moo Moo Milk, so we better use it up. What have you been here? Okay. Seems down to the right is where we're having to go. Ooh, a Kadabra. Kadabra is like another one of those Pokemon who I would be doomed to keep in its second evolution form due to my inability to trade. But that's just the way it is. Another branch to cut. Some berries, I guess. Hey, I'll take them. Block. What a weird name. I wonder I wonder who sits at the office in Game Freak and names these berries. I got a new name for a berry today. Block. Dunno. Maybe, maybe there actually is some actual meaning behind it and I'm just sitting here looking like an idiot. Which I honestly think is the more plausible option. Hmm. Hi, Sonic. I'll put you to the front, get you some levels while we're here. I think you should be okay. So many trees. If, you got, if these guys are black bells, then you know Sonic should have an easier time because wing attack, one a KO for the most part. It is what? Bye. Too easy, man. This is psychic and fighting, right? I think so. I'm going to assume so and act upon that. If it's wrong, well, it's wrong. Another one of KO. Stage 3 evolution early game has insanely high stats compared to the rest of these Pokemon. That's why it's sort of important actually to get uh, some of those in your team. I think that's why I valued Butterfree and uh, Beedrill so much back in the original games because 
they were stage 3 evolutions level like 10 so he pretty much had elevated stats compared to the base level of most Pokemon. Which is why they shen so much early game. I mean I just want to use some comparison here. If we're going to look at Sonic's base, you know, attack 56. The only person that matches that is Machop, who is 5 levels higher. But you know, Vaults as well, I guess. Vaults is stage 2 evolution, though. Wow. Aww, it's a Meryl. Usually I would capture this, but I think I've already got my encounter for this area. Sadly. Bam. Yeah, that does added attack because of the rain as well, I believe. Watch you give me like 2 XP or something at the end. ED2, wow, so much. I have no regular potions anymore. There's an item. HP up. He has relatively low HP. Awesome. Give it to her. Yay! I turned! I just turned and I ran into a Pokemon. Like a tongue. Wow, this guy should give. Or sorry, this guy should give a lot of XP. Damn, I forgot about that. Both tried the same thing and missed. Didn't mean to do that. Crazy defense for this this point in the game. I would catch it if I could. Just can't be bothered with the confusion, to be honest. And again. What is up with all the good Pokemon? Why couldn't I have ran into here earlier? Good. Let's grab that. Shockwave. No, I would put that on Vols usually, but Vols is a physical attacker. There's no point wasting that because we do only have one use per TM. Honestly, I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Sleep or burn. Here we go, I guess. This is gonna be a tough battle. I think this is six on six. But I can be used to. I'm sending a blossom because uh She can heal herself. Look at that, it's almost identical. Hopefully we can get her out of the game immediately. Yes we can! 
Now I'm gonna get a level right before we attack. Convenient. It's gonna hurt. Tank it. Not bad. Hmm, Ralph, we need to take that out ASAP. Should kill it. One hit, right? Yep. Hmm. Interesting that he changed his choice. We'll get some HP from him, though. He's not too much of a threat. Sweet. This is gonna be tough. We need to focus all our attention on like a tongue, and then we'll have a 2v1 situation. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, Magical Leaf or Leech Seed. I have to think my best bet is Leech Seeding. But I'll be getting health from both of those Pokemon now. That's gonna hurt. I'm gonna need that health. Stop. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Blossom already showing why she is on the team. I'd rather take a... The Legatung, because then it'll be a 2v1 situation. Yeah, this is okay. We'll live. See ya. I think this is the right way to do this battle, for sure. Then we just bite and flinch hacks everyone that comes out at this point. Hmm. This will be tough. I'm really glad we went for this 2v1 situation, to be honest. Imagine having to face this head on, man. Wow. It's gonna hurt. Come on, lad. Tank it. That should finish it, right? That seed. There we go. I'm actually gonna heal up Sonic on his turn, even though it's only one more Pokemon left. That should give up a boatload of XP. Look at that, man. Weasel. I feel like I can take this on. But for the sake of safety, not risking it. If he has Aqua Jet or something and gets lucky. I'm actually curious, what does more damage? That is base 60, that's base 40. Magical Leaf does. And that should finish it off, right? I'm pretty under level for this area. I mean, imagine, imagine taking on. You know that, like a tongue and that uh, drift blim at the same time. It would be hell to get through. It really would. Sweet. 
Yep, you were confident, but unfortunately not confident enough. Intense battle there right at the end, guys. 6v2 with one healing item. I don't think we did too badly. I don't think we did too badly. But on that note, I'm going to send it here. Until next time, we'll be heading east, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.